Thank you for choosing our weather forecast channel. This is the headline. Fine and dry for many today. Claudia in the west. Today. Many areas fine and dry with bright or sunny spells, best of the sunshine over parts of eastern and southeastern England. Cloudier in the west where cloud thick enough for a little rain at times, mainly hills. Warmer than yesterday. Tonight. A fair amount of cloud for many areas overnight, but also some clear spells. Patchy rain and drizzle over western hills but otherwise mainly dry. Milder than recent nights. Monday. Mainly fine and dry in the south and east, though cool and cloudy for some north sea coastal areas. Cloudier at times elsewhere with a few showers about. Outlook for Tuesday to Thursday. Dry, with bright or sunny spells, warm in the sun and out of the breeze. Cool near windward coasts. Increasing risk of showers by Thursday. Now, latest updates presented by BBC Weather's Matt Taylor. Thanks for watching. Hello. After the sunshine of yesterday, it is a good deal more cloudy out there today. Rather grey skies in many parts of the UK. These are the weather fronts responsible. They've pushed their way in the Atlantic, but they're drawing in southerly winds. So even with that cloud, it probably feels a little bit milder. And when you get the cloud breaks, it will feel very pleasant. Certainly across eastern England, some hazy sunshine around and more breaks this afternoon. Northern Scotland, Northern Ireland. There will be a few showers here and still quite damp around some western coasts and hills. But in the sunny moments, we could see highs of around 17, particularly Northern Ireland and also the north of uh, Scotland. But eastern England, be prepared. Some very high pollen levels to go with the hazy sunshine. An isolated shower can't be ruled out in East Anglia South East, but if they do, they'll fade away tonight. Still lots of cloud around tonight and there will be some patchy light rain or drizzle, especially through southern Scotland, England and Wales, where it will be a reasonably mild night, chilliest through East Anglia, where any clear skies could lead to some mist and fog patches. But for Monday, a grey start, a bit damp in one or two areas. Overall, though, western parts of England Wales, we should see a bit more brightness compared with today. Some sunshine breaking through what will often be uh, extensive cloud. Best of sunshine, eastern England, although down those North Sea coasts, be prepared. There could be some sea fog rolling in as we go into the afternoon. Temperatures will drop quite rapidly. Highest of temperatures, though, northern Scotland again, up to around 18 Celsius, 64 Fahrenheit. And through this week, well, the week ahead, high pressure dominates, but it's there in Scandinavia. We're on the edge of it, so we could still see a few showers come. And with a strengthening breeze coming in off the North Sea, which at the moment is quite chilly, only around 7 to 9 Celsius, around its lowest for the time of uh, this uh, season, it's going to feel quite cool at times along some of those North Sea coasts. A lot of mist, low cloud to begin with on Tuesday morning. Most of that will break up but later on we could see a bit more cloud with some showers drifting across southern parts of England and Wales. With a strengthening breeze it's going to feel chillier particularly for England and Wales, mildest weather to the west of Scotland where it will again be on Wednesday. Once again on Wednesday we start with some extensive cloud, England, Wales, Northern Ireland, chance of a few showers particularly in the west. Most will have a dry day, increasing amounts of sunshine but still chilly down some of those eastern coasts and temperatures across Scotland will drop a little bit relative to the start of the week. But overall, as I said, high pressure is in charge. Other than a few showers across the south, many will have a dry week with the sunniest conditions in Scotland.